I'm going to do a little quick video on gray hooves. Uh, so let's just start off. I've base coated this hoof uh, in a gray acrylic. Just find a nice medium gray uh, with a slightly cool tone to it or just neutral. Um, coated that with two or three coats and it has been sealed. It's a big thing if you're going to do uh, this kind of work. That needs to be sealed in. So this is just going to be the quick way to do gray hooves. I'm going to take a white charcoal pencil. Now you don't have to use a white charcoal pencil. Uh, you can do this with a Q-tip and some white pastels. I uh, get this kind of sharpened down to a flat point by just running it across some sandpaper. And I'm going to draw this coronet band. Across the top of the hoof, like so. Now this generally doesn't show up on horses as much as uh, some people think. Um, it's basically going to show up if the hoof is very wet. It's going to show up as just a kind of a light gray area or if the hoof is very dry. Um, but most of the time, you're not going to see a horse walking around and see this bright, bright big white line at the top of the hoof. Now this is a little micro brush. You can use a Q-tip for this, okay? I'm going to dip it in just a little, it's like a white and gray mix. Really, really pale. Eh, you know, not quite white, but white's fine if, if you want to do that. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to go right at the top. What that's going to do is not only is it going to lay down a little bit of pastels, it's going to soften and smudge that white charcoal line that you just drew. If you get it up on the leg, you know, in the on the black part of this leg, just take a kneadable eraser and erase it off. Again, this is a quickie tutorial. Okay, there you go. Eh, not half bad. So, now what I want to do, is just going to take a small brush. Uh, this is just a kind of a medium dark gray here. A little bit darker than the hoof. And what I'll do, I'll go over the whole hoof with that. Not, not quite up into that white line. If, it's, if you've got it too bright, that's fine. You can go over it. I'm using a gray is a good way to dull that back down where it's it's not so bright. If you don't have your hoof seal before you do this, the, the pastels are just going to grab and might not go on evenly. Okay, so there's with the gray coat. Now, I've got, this is just straight black pastels. I'm going to go right just along the bottom down here and with black pastels they aren't going to go like jet black in the first layers and you don't want something's going to go jet black in the first layer so don't use pigments or anything like that and that's just down at the bottom there okay set that to the side and then this horse is going to be kind of a pasture horse so i've got just some burnt umber pigments here Same area as I did with that gray. There you go. Quick, simple, not a lot to it. Now if you want to draw some hoof rings, I also recommend that you draw them, you know, with a, a white charcoal pencil. But what I would do is I would go through, do your, do your little band at the top, draw just some subtle rings. Don't have them evenly spaced out. Growth rings happen when something changes in that horse's life. Um, spring grass comes in. Uh, his food gets upped. You change some feed on him. He gets a little, uh, he gets something injured and, and goes on butte for a couple of days. That's what the growth rings show, is that something has happened different in that horse's life. So you don't want evenly spaced out lines, and you also don't want them 
very pronounced because then you get into fever rings and founder rings and i think a lot of artists do horizontal lines um just they make them too pronounced and they stand out too much and it doesn't really look real good um so yeah if you want to do that take the white charcoal pencil draw them in shrink the line down get it real small blend it in seal the hoof then come back and do your gray pastels, black pastels, and burn number. That way it softens those lines down. And then if you want to see, this is that hoof sealed in. Okay? Let's put it behind there. It's done the exact same way, but by sealing it subdues that white line down a little bit. I didn't do any kind of growth rings or anything like that. Um, because I'm going to do these hoods a little bit differently. But again, this is the quick, 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 and easy way to do this. I will zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So, quick and easy hooves. Uh, if you want to do some vertical striping, I would take a black, super sharp colored pencil. And just very faintly draw some vertical lines. Then take, a, they make blending pencils or even just a, a, just a dry Q-tip. And just kind of blend those back in. You don't want stuff to really stand out. Um, because it's just not how it looks in real life. So that's one way to do super easy gray hooves.